I'm Robert Cramp. Welcome to the Experiment of the Week. This time we're going to talk about the science of remote controls. You probably have a remote control for your television or other things around the house. How does this thing work? How does it communicate with that electronic device? You might think that it uses radio waves or something like that, but actually it uses light. Now, I don't see any light coming out of there. There's a little thing that looks like a light bulb there. It may be covered with black plastic on yours, but behind it is a thing that looks like a light bulb. But I don't see any light coming out of it. That's because it's a color of light that I can't see. Think about a rainbow. When you look at a rainbow, you see the colors red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, all that nice spectrum. the spectrum goes further. If you go beyond violet, you get a color called ultraviolet, a color that our eyes can't see. Some insects and other creatures can see it. If we go the other way, beyond red, you get infrared, again a color that our eyes can't see, but that's very useful for the remote control. We can tell it's light because it reflects off of things. If it was radio waves, you could point this away from your television and still operate it. That doesn't work. But you can point this toward a reflective surface like a mirror or a window or a picture frame and affect your television because the beam bounces off of there, comes back to the sensor, and changes the channel. So see the color that you can't see. How are you going to do that? Well, you need something that's more sensitive to infrared than your eyes are. Luckily, the cameras that are in cell phones, digital cameras, video cameras, all of those sensors tend to be sensitive to infrared light. So you can take your camera phone, turn it on, and point it toward the remote control, and then if you press the button, you see a light, a nice bright light. Now you press different buttons and you seem to get the same light every time, but you don't. Because instead of a single continuous light, like it looks, you're getting a pattern. It's flashing on and off very, very quickly in a specific pattern, and each button has its own pattern. So when you press this button, it knows to increase the volume. When you press that button, it changes the channel by sending a different pattern. So get your cell phone, get your remote, show your friends the color that they can't see. Well, that's all for this time. Have a wonderful week.